right. <clears throat> Happy Friday. I'm feeling really good. I got a workout in. Um, Zoe's still sleeping. She's just like living her best life. Um, so I thought I would walk you through like what it looks like getting ready with no kids at my feet. So Zane is still at my mom's. Um, and he spent the night. So oh my gosh, you guys like having one child is completely different than having two. It was a lot for me to go from one to two kids. Like, I think that was the point that I finally realized that I needed help and I needed like a break. So one day a week, I will usually get like four hours to myself um, to work, obviously, and then just do like quick errands, like returns or whatever. But most of the time, all the time I bring the kids with me to like the grocery store and all that stuff so but anyways um I want to talk a little bit about being like a stay-at-home mom and feeling guilty for doing things for yourself um because I have three sisters um two two of which have children they both work full-time well one of them is also a dental hygienist. She works three days a week at an office. And then the other one is a hairdresser. She works three days one week and then she'll work four days another week. But she has had a baby. And I was talking with her because she's older than me, but I've had two kids before she did. She just had her baby, her second baby. Um, and her other baby is a year old. And I was talking with her last night and I was like, she came over for a spray tan because she's getting baby pictures, like newborn pictures um, tomorrow. And you know how usually when you're tan, like you just, you just feel way better. So I was like, yeah, come over. We'll do spray tan. So she came over and I was like, how you doing? <laughs> You know, going from one to two kids is a lot. When you have one kid, like I have right now, you can put them down and you can have, I mean, she's been sleeping for like two hours and I literally feel like refreshed. I feel better. I got a little bit of time to myself to work out. I caught up on some messages, had a little scroll time. Um, you just feel refreshed. But when you have another kid to take care of, there's somebody that constantly needs you and it's hard. And especially when you're a new mom, at, you know, either even just a new mom and trying to figure all that out, or you're a new mom and you have another kid, you're like always constantly needed, especially when you're trying to breastfeed or pump and the hormones are there, the rage, the, the stress is just like a lot. And I think a lot of times we forget that like we need a break. And that doesn't mean like getting a shower alone or going to the store alone, you know, just basic things. It's just literally sometimes for a mom, it's like sitting in silence and just like vegging out and not doing anything. And that's normal. So it took me until I had my second um, Zoe was just in January. She was probably, let's see, she was born in April. I don't know, eight, nine, ten months old that I realized that, like, I needed a break and I needed time to myself because my husband works really long hours. He works weekends. He works late. Um, and it's really just me. So don't feel guilty. I was always before I had kids, I was always the mom that was like, I'm never gonna need a sitter, I'm never gonna need a break for my babies. And trust me, it is, it's a lot, it is a, a lot, especially as a woman staying up on like the housework, if that's something that you do in your relationship, those kinds of things, it is a lot. So don't ever feel bad or feel guilty for like having to need a break because that's normal. Um, so yeah, just talking about that, um, and 
when I was chatting with my sister last night, she was just like, you know, as moms, we never want to ask for help. So I was like, just come over, bring your kids over tomorrow, and I will watch them, and you can go do whatever you want to do, even if you just want to go home and take a nap. But I think I, I'm going to have to, like, physically go over there and, like, push her out the door or take her kids because she's just like me and she'll say no I'm fine when really you know that like it's hard especially when your body is like still trying to process having a baby not to mention healing um it's just a lot so don't ever feel bad about that um I am also a very minimalist makeup person so <laughs> I know I put on my story today, I did like a little clip of my workout and then I shared um, a little bit about being a mom and basically sacrificing your body because it is hard when you're pregnant and you feel like you can't do a lot of things. Um, and after I had Zane, I nurse, or not nurse because I'm a pumper, so I pumped for exactly one year in one day literally the day after his first birthday i was like i am done i don't want to see this pump anymore i don't want this stuff on my counter i don't want bottles and we just like cold turkey it stopped that next day um granted i was only down to like two pumps uh so it was really easy because i had been prepping to like stop a couple weeks before that kind of started like weaning from the pump um but <laughs> I was so excited when I stopped pumping to be able to start doing some things for myself as far as like simple things like using like a retinol cream or whatever it is because um, at that point I was 31, 31 and I had never really taken care of like my face and my skincare so I was like I really want to do something for like fine lines and wrinkles and just have some kind of skincare routine. So I was so excited and literally three weeks after I stopped pumping, I got pregnant with Zoe. So that was out of the bag. Um, and then it's like routine, I guess. We need to think about this for the next one. I stopped pumping for Zoe at nine months because she, um, I had enough, I had like an oversupply of milk, so I stopped pumping for her at nine months. And three weeks later, I got pregnant with this baby. So I guess breastfeeding is my birth control because I never get pregnant um, when I'm pumping, but it happens right as soon as I'm done. Um, so my skincare routine is very minimal now, but I did get set up with like a wellness spa that's like local to me and I do get, try to get, hydrofacials like quarterly just to help clean out like my pores and stuff um and then they gave me like a line of products so if you're interested um I will do like the skin better cleansing gel so he's waking up um is how I wash my face twice a day so I have one here so I can do it at night and then I have one in the shower um and then at night time I do the eye cream and it just goes like around your eyes just rub it in and then during the morning, I do the Alto Defense, which is basically just a vitamin C. Um, and then after I put either of those on, I just do the hydrating, like, voice boosting cream hydration, which is basically a moisturizer. And that's pretty much it. Um, I like this for my lips. If you've not seen this, they have it at, I think, Sephora. I'm not even kidding. I got this, like, three years ago and it is really good it's like a lip mask you can put on at night um so i use that and as far as makeup goes my usual is this the cc cream that i put on and then i do an eyeshadow i do a little bit of this bronzer that i've had for like literally five years and then i do mascara and that's it um I pop my earrings on, I put my ring on, and we're good to go for the day. Um, but if you've followed me for a while, or if you know, like we live in what I like to call a tiny home. 
So we have a really small house. This is our, our small bathroom. Um, and it is, the lip mask is amazing. When we remodeled the house, cause I moved in here, obviously it was like Zach's bachelor pad. Um, when we remodeled the house, I was like, oh, I want to do open shelving here. It would be so cute, you know, like those big bean looking shelves. And Zach was like, we need storage. And I'm like, no, it's fine. We can put this stuff anywhere else, you know? And I'm really glad I did a poll. I think it was maybe two, three years ago when we were, no, we, d we ended up not doing this until like last year. I did a poll and um, I was like, should I do open shelving or storage? And you guys were right, like the above storage is really nice. So we don't have like a hall closet or anything like that. We just, like this is it. And I like to keep things to a minimum. Um, so we just have Zach's towels, my towels, my stuff, random like travel size stuff. And then down here, since we have these cabinets locked from the kids, we just have this little lock. I like the inside locks so that you don't see them. I just have like my one curling iron, my one hair dryer that I do not use because I do not blow dry my hair ever unless it's like Christmas and I'm headed to church like in a hurry or Easter. <laughs> um, and that's about it. And tampons that are like four years old because I've not had a period for four years. So, um, but then we are kind of trying to navigate um, moving <laughs> into our, our two kids getting basically our three-year-old and our one-year-old on the same sleep schedule so that they can share a room because uh, we only have two bedrooms. So we <laughs> are really um, crunch time here because we have about 27 weeks right now and we will deliver at 39 weeks because I'll have a scheduled C-section. So we have about 11 weeks left. And if you know my husband, it is his busy time of the year. So they are busy. Like he worked last night till 9.30. Um, their summer is just busy for them, uh, for their family business. So like we're busy, but we have to like think up a bunk bed crib system because Zoe is a climber, so we can't just like put her in her bed. She will for sure get out. She will for sure climb a bunk bed. Um, something where they can be in a room together. And then I think the idea is to finish like one part of our basement. Our basement is like really small. Um, so there's one side that could be potentially like finished, really short ceiling. So it would be good for kids, small people, and people like myself that are short because you know, I'm barely five foot. Um, and then my idea is just to have like a little table down there that we can do like school stuff, crafts, um, storage, so that we can store like a lot of their toys. Um, I do try to keep like their toys to a minimum as well and do like a toy rotation um but yeah that's kind of the goal because we are just running out of room with three kids and two adults in a two bedroom I think we're at like 900 and something square feet house so it's a lot the um mudroom that I work out in I'm really thankful that we have that because if we didn't have that you would like immediately walk into our front living room which is also our kitchen which is also our hallway. So the kids just are kind of running out of space to play. When Zane is like playing with his trucks, Zoe will like get into him and she's kind of an aggravator. She will definitely aggravate him and grab his toys. So I just want them to be able to like, not necessarily have their own space, but like a space that they can go to. So Basically, when you go down the stairs, we were talking about, you know, putting a little gate up because there is a door in the basement. I don't want them to, like, go out the door. Putting a gate up and, like, a security camera that I can see from up here if I'm up here with a baby making a bottle or feeding or pumping. But I can see them and hear them. But yet, they'll have, like, a TV area down there. Maybe some, you know, they have, like, a little trampoline. Just, like, a place to, uh, for them to hang. So, that's the goal. Luckily... Zach is, look at her, she hasn't even cried yet. She's just like hanging out the side. 
I love her. Um, luckily, Zach's very handy, so he can pretty much do all of that himself. I really wish there would be like an option to have a bathroom down there, or at least just a toilet, um, because this is our only bathroom. So sometimes if Zach has to go, you know, do the dad duty for like 30 minutes, I'm like, oh, let me pee first, because obviously I pee like five times an hour and he's in here forever. And I'm like, pretty soon, like our kids are gonna have to like sit on the toilet. You know, Zane's not potty trained yet, but pretty soon they're gonna have to sit on the toilet and we're running out of toilets. We have like one toilet. So I don't know, I wouldn't change it though because I love living in a small house. Um, we have friends that have bigger houses and they're like, I don't know, I don't know if he's in, if my husband's inside or outside. And I'm like, we are literally on top of each other at all times. So it's just, it's, I, I do love it. I like, I like having a small house. It's more manageable to clean myself um, and all that, but we're just not ready to move yet. So we're gonna stay here as long as we can and make do with what we have. Um, so. Any tips on that would be nice, finishing like a basement. <laughs> but Zane is pretty much in our bed at night and we have a quin clean bed. So there's not a lot of room. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I just wanted to come on here and just kind of share a little bit about my story. And, you know, I am just your basic everyday mom that is trying to navigate motherhood as a stay-at-home mom with a husband who works long hours um, and who raises her children on her own. Like, I don't have, um, you know, a daycare or somewhere that I send my kids to. I literally manage my children a lot, pretty much, on my own. And when I do have a day that they can go to mother-in-laws or my mom's it is a really nice break so I know I've talked to a lot of you moms about how you're just like emotionally drained and just overwhelmed and I cannot tell you enough that you have to like make time for yourself and do something for yourself even if it is just working out quick workout at home or taking like a 20 minute walk to yourself where you don't have to load any kids up and get out the door and push a stroller, just like walk. Um, even if it's at night after you put them in bed or you know, not having to sit and listen to a monitor or go watch a movie or you know, go hide in the bathroom and take a bath. Like you have to do something for yourself. And I, it took me till I got to two kids to realize that. And I want you to know that even if you are a new mom and it's just you and you have one kid, like it's okay to have that break. Um, and I've also talked to a lot of moms that don't have a support system like that and they live places where they don't have family members. I'm really thankful that my family all lives here. I have three sisters. We're always down to help each other out, but you need to, <laughs> you need to let your husband know that like you need a break <laughs> and it's okay. Um, and it's kind of ironic because I was just on like a four day trip for work and we were, I was talking with the other girls cause we're all moms and we were all like, this was not a vacation. Like this was go, go, go. We were in conferences and sessions during the day. And then at night we were trying to get dinner. And then in between sessions, we were getting lunch. We were waking up early for workouts that like, it was, it was not a break. <laughs> it was not relaxing. It was not a vacation. Um, and it's literally taking me six days to like recover from it. So, um, you just, you, you need that break. So don't feel guilty. Um, but yeah, my little girl is finally waking up. She hasn't even cried yet. So let's go get her. I can't breathe. I'm so out of breath. Huh? Zoe Bowie? What are you doing? Always come in, turn off her sound machine, open the blinds, and she's in her brother's bed. <laughs> Are you laughing? Huh? What? Hi, sweet girl. Hi. Hi, sweet girl.
girl. She always hands me her blankies. Oh, are you going to lay back down? Are you sleepy? She took about an hour and a half nap. Are you laying back down? You want to wake up? You're still in your jammies, aren't you? Come on, come give mommy hugs. She must be needing the rest. So, anyways, I just wanted to pop on and share that. This is probably, like, way too long to kind of get the point across of what I wanted to say. But um, I hope you guys take that time for yourself, whatever it looks like. A walk, a workout, a stroll down the street, or a stroll through a store that is not groceries. Whatever it is, do that thing for you. <laughs> you ready to get up, so? And I hope you guys have the best weekend.